Let's take a look at what's trending this morning for you. Yeah, for that, and that's here uh, right now. What's going on online this morning? I don't know. Besides Bieber, she lost her tickets. She yeah, Bieber canceled. Such the a bummer, concert. right? Yeah. That you know, just one of many stories trending online. But you know, <laughs> summer is a big time for the biggest films at the box office, right? But now, movie critics are turning their attention to Wisconsin because. It's not really about a film that's got them all riled up. It's about the location. Take a look. The Rat Swan Memorial Park Cemetery plans to show a film next month. Some residents have sounded off saying that the event is disrespectful to people buried there. Cemetery employees, though, they disagree. They said the film will be on a land that is not or doesn't plan to be at least a burial ground basically a community outreach. We have such a beautiful location here at Restlawn that we want to share it with everyone. Okay, and as for that first film, the Mor Memorial Park says that they thought of, they really wanted to bring Ghostbusters in because they thought it was a natural fit. Uh, it's scheduled to play in a couple of weeks and it is free of charge. They're planning a movie night uh, at the cemetery every month this summer. Not sure if they're all like, you know, Oof. spooky themed, that's but that's at least line, the plan though. for the first one. Yeah. Hey, some people maybe you, know, you want to go digging into your garage after hearing this story. Rock star Alice Cooper was so caught up in a swirl of drugs and drinking that he apparently forgot his own silk screen. This one of an electric chair by his friend Andy Warhol. Now, the forgotten work has been in storage in a locker actually for nearly 20, or, sorry, 40 years. Wow. And it could be worth at least $10 million. Amazing. Now, the painting was originally purchased for about $2,500, so that's a steal. Um, according to Cooper's manager, though, there was a reason why, a good one, that he forgot about it. Uh, Cooper was admitted to a psychiatric hospital uh, to get his life back together right around the time that that was purchased. Mm, okay. Hey, you know, I know a lot of us may still feel like it's a Monday this morning, you know, even though it's a Tuesday. So I left this post on our Facebook fan page. Make today so awesome, yesterday gets jealous. And I asked the question, what's getting you pumped this morning? Some people are responding, including Jeffrey, saying spending time alone with the Lord and being prepared to serve him and others. And Gary writes, a pot of coffee at 2 a.m. You know what? I think uh, Gary and the, all of us were kind of, you know, <laughs> where's that coffee, Jamal? Did you go and brew exactly. it yet? <laughs> yes, it's all brewed, ready to go. Okay. We got it over there. We're just drinking it down. That's oh, good. Yeah. But I love those inspirational quotes. I think we need to do one every morning. Okay. I like those. I'll work on it. Yeah, <laughs> we'll be right back.